it's Ashraf Hadaya. Oh, I'd uh, Kevin Driver, yes, I'm a longer. I wouldn't be anyway, nah. I, I love the gun and I'm happy to do it here. Basically friendly people, uh, nice and easy to get around and um, yeah, just a um, good place to live in and work in, I guess. It's not the best and not the worst, so it's a job. Pay the bills and put our food on the table. I've got a family, so... Yes, I've got mortgage to pay, so you gotta work and... Sometimes you could be waiting an hour. Sometime, um, every two minutes, just picking up and dropping off straight away, so... Well, that's one of the busiest spot normally on Wednesday night. Yeah. So, we can just sort of stop here and wait. You meet all different kind of people. Um, you know, the happiest people in the world, the, uh, the angriest people and, uh, you know, you get occasionally a bit of violent guys screaming, they get kicked out from the nightclub and they just want to go um, thinking the taxi driver's fault, so you try to calm them down and just say, listen, I'm sorry, you know, whatever, just settle down, I'll take you home, try to be, um, give them advice and make them relax a little bit like sometimes you'll be like a counselor you know when you go to work you gotta be in a relaxing mood <laughs> because we're dealing with so many different people and so if you gotta be happy with your job then you'll be all right otherwise if you feel a little bit angry then you can, you can get yourself in trouble you know you get that every now and then they just look at you and and they you know call you like uh, ethnic wog or they call you this and that religious stuff or something some remark but you know um, that's how it goes sometimes so I shouldn't take it too personal uh, the experience and you how well you spoke English and how polite you can avoid lots of trouble yeah I had couple of attacks somehow but um, so uh, it was all good like you know it's bad at the time but that's life you learn and I think I one of them um, they throw a rock or something and then I stop straight away and then they look like they're gonna try to rob me or something if it wasn't uh, drunk people we couldn't have the business so I understand you know I drank myself occasionally too so I know I exactly. feel a little bit yeah. different when I do that so mm. I understand I've got no problem with drinking yeah. but sometimes you got to take some responsibility yeah has anyone ever thrown up in your taxi oh yeah absolutely I've been a fair few times yeah that's I reckon one of the worst thing is uh, you know I always say to them please you know just let me know and I pull over and I pose the mirror no problem just make sure not throw it in the car but unfortunately uh, some of them that couldn't um, yeah, they couldn't wait or they couldn't hop it and they do it. you got to go clean up the car, take some of the time the smell take the whole three four days. You put some air freshener and stuff like that. The, um, the Illawarra and Kunis oh, gets yeah. busy, the Grand yeah. on Wednesday night. Somehow yeah. they, um, they have a, a uni, sort of a probably, uh, I don't know, cheaper bit, drink and uh, you go work Monday to Friday and then on your weekend you want to go out have a couple of drink and catch up with your mate and just socialize and at the same time you need to go home and that so I'm doing something to the community they need the taxi drivers and we need them so it makes me feel uh, I did something good and uh, get them home safe and uh, the best thing is when they drop him off they say thank you very much and have a safe trip and um, and I feel like I did my duty. Hours. Thank you very much. I just say uh, ten dollars a side. Twenty will do me. Thank you very much. Have a good one, mate. You have a good one too. Thank All the best. you guys.